Welcome boys and girls. Today we're making a fried fish sandwich with garlic fries. That just sounds... Oh. On one hand you have a fried fish sandwich, then on the other hand you have garlic fries. Now that does sound like something I should put my hands on. So let's get into it, shall we? These Hokkaido buns are to die for. Now into some warm milk. We add in a couple tablespoons of sugar, that's two tablespoons, a teaspoon of yeast. Then we just let that bloom. Tiny pot, go in with flour, water, and more juice. This is what will make your bun soft and airy. So trust the process. And a low heat and we stir. When it starts getting thick and clumpy, we are almost there. All thick and some sound like this, perfect. A big fat bowl on a scale. Epi flour, 320 grams. And just a pinch of salt. We crack in one baby chicken. See our yeasty milk is nicely formed. Into the flour. The tangs on paste follows along. Now this is where we get our hands dirty and get all in there. Oh, the baby chicken is so resilient. Hataki could break. Now we move our dough to a flat surface. Actually, something about this dough, the more you need, the looser it becomes. Now with our odd looking dough, we're gonna need in 42 grams of butter, but gradually. So one scoop and knead. After 12 minutes of carefully kneading, we lightly lube a bowl with oil. Then our tiny dough goes in there and sleeps for two hours. Just my good boy, give you rest. That has been a long two hours and our dough is perfectly risen. Look at that, my boys, look at that. Ooh, and it's quite soft and hollowish inside. All right, so we degust the dough. We're gonna do six 103 grams balls. You want to fold it just like this, give it a turn, then roll. Line your baking dish with parchment paper. Then we lay in our first ball. We cover them with cling film and let them rise for another 40 minutes. Our boys are well Reason. Look at those boys. Oh my goodness. We're gonna kiss them with an egg wash. Oh, I love that. That is three parts egg white and one part water. Sam, what the hell do you mean three parts eggs and one part water? Well, my boys, I mean two times less water what the egg was or what the egg weighed. That is in volume. Does it really make sense? <laughs> now we launch our boys into a 180C hellfire for 20 minutes. I love you boys. Oh yeah. Our good boys are from the oven and looking the <laughs> They're looking so luxurious. I just wanna um, 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 eat them right now. But first, we kiss them with some good melted butter just to bring out the gloriousness out of them even more. Everybody gets some butter. Nobody skips the butter. Okay, so I got myself a chili factory over here ready to get ripped. These are Peter's chili, but you can use serrano peppers. We're gonna do some of the greens and some of the reds. That's a giant pepper. Yeah, those should be perfect. Our boys are from the garden. Ooh, our peppers, peppies. Just thin slices. The peppers go into our happy hour jar. Three cloves of garlic, slice them just like this. Into the peppers, again with a tiny pot. One pot vinegar, one pot water, a pinch of sugar and a light pinch of salt. Then we let this come to a bubble right over here. When that bubbles, we bring the party into the jar. Then we just sit there and pickle till assembly time. Now, my boys, this might actually be the tartar sauce of your dreams. These were the last bits of mayo that were in this jar. But since we're using a lot bunch of mayo, we're gonna switch up to the big jar. Bashra milk, bashra milk, ama maziwa mala. Just a little bit, it's a bit clumpy, but don't worry. Cause you know why? I got you, man, I got you. A third bit of some pickle juice. This is what is gonna loosen it up. You should be making your pickles at home or buy some pickle juice once they're on sale. Fresh dill, a reasonable amount. Nicely minced. In, a bunch of chives. That is like enough, not too much. In, a twinkle of wash your sister sauce. Our favorite whole grain mustard. That is onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper. And that's your lovely tartar sauce. Mixy, 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 et voila. And now, my good friends, we're gonna make fries with skin on, so make sure your potatoes are sparkling clean. We remove the tips. We're gonna do thick cross sections. That's the thickness you want on your potato cylinders. One, two. And we have our, our fuenchy, fuenchy fries. Introduce our potato boys into an ice bath. 
our potatoes are gonna be chilling here for the next 15 minutes. We're gonna lay paper towel on our table. We lay them on the paper towel. And then we just dry them. Potatoes cleaned, potatoes cooled, potatoes dried. Now we fry. Our pot rigged with a thermometer. Mm. Our oil. At 170C, we carefully lay in our potatoes. Ooh. Two minutes in, that's the end of our first fry. Now we crank up the heat to 190 degrees C and we carefully drop the flimsy potatoes. Oh, now in my book, that's perfectly fried. Immediately we season with salt. Okay, two garlic cloves, you want that finely minced in. And cilantro amadania finely chopped in. At this point, you can get rid of the paper towel and just give them a toss. The main event, Nemo. The fish we're gonna be using today, it's a classic red snapper. You don't really need to use a red snapper, you can use any other ocean white fish. Now my buns, they're like, they're like yay big in diameter. So with our fish, we're gonna do it a bit wider. So let's say something like there. That's, that's a good size, that's a good size. A dredging station we shall create. Plain flour that happened to get lightly salted. One, two. I also had a remaining egg yolk. That is two and a half baby chickens. That gets some salt as well. And a pinch of peppy. And on the third and final stage, fresh breadcrumbs. Nemo gets a bit of the flour on both sides. Into the baby chickens. Finally, into the breadcrumbs. This is where you have to pat it in. Bald spots will be your worst enemies. Shake off the excess. And into a 170C, ooh, hot oil for 90 seconds to two minutes. Now we're just gonna fish them out. Oh, that looks so good. It looks so good. Ah, should I bush them? Yeah, that, that is done. Boys and girls, it's assembly time. And you know, assembly time is my favorite time. We get our buns, a nice, beautiful cross section. Ah, oh, that smells so good. I love it so soft and fluffy and light. This is the perfect bun to me. Some toast in butter, some toast in open flames, but I edge on to some nicely olive oil toasted buns. We go in with some beautiful extra virgin. Our buns go in there, let them get acquainted. Onto some flames over here. Oh my, that is perfectly toasted. We get our bottom bun, a generous portion of that tartar sauce, the biggest piece of Nemo, the pickled peppers, but guys, go very light on this. This is some little demons, you know. Some more sauce on the top bun, and crown your king. Poppy! That is crazy! Are you guys seeing that? Are you, are you guys seeing that? Can't wait to put my teeth in that. And with the garlic fries, on the side, you know, nothing too crazy out here. Yeah, a healthy portion, I'd say. Et voila. Tell me that's not something you'd want to have. Tell me. Oh, that's a clean oh, yeah. cut. Cross section check. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, my boy, mm -hmm. that looks good. Cheers, my guys. Mm-mm. mm, -mm. mm, -mm, -mm. Oh, I love it so warm. Oh my days. The fried fish is so good. The flavors in here. Oh, 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 oh. They're just working out so perfectly. I love with the chilies. <laughs> the chilies have held my tongue hostage, so uh Go light on the chilies. The tartar sauce comes with the fire extinguisher. Like, I'm here for you. I'm here for you. Don't panic, my guy. I'm here for you. So into the fries. Mmm, I brought some extra sauce because why not? Go with like three fries in there. Guys, this has been so harmonious. If you do like food or just the size of food, drop a fat like and see you on the next one. Bye bye. Also subscribe for Lucky Fry. Hold spatula.